Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Alicia, and today I am bringing you like a mini Costco haul slash Thanksgiving prep video. I already have my full November video up on my channel, so if you haven't watched that yet, definitely check it out after this video. But I wanted to show you what I picked up. I missed some things whenever I went to Costco, but also I wanted to start prepping for Thanksgiving that is coming up next week. So I figured I'd get a, get a jump start on purchasing some of the things that I could get right now that will last for next week. I wanted to show you everything that I got back here, but first I want to show you a lot of the Thanksgiving items that are available right now, possibly in your local Costco. Like I mentioned, I forgot some things last time and I wanted to start ahead with Thanksgiving, just get an early start. So potatoes, I picked up this large, large bag of 15 pound potatoes, great price. I plan on making a ton of mashed potatoes and possibly if there's enough left over, which there should be, there is a ton of potatoes in here, potato stacks. I tried making those several years ago and they are so delicious. A great like make ahead type of potato side. Of course the turkey, there was a ton of turkeys available at my Costco, there was large ones, smaller ones. There was unfortunately nothing in between. So I, I was trying to get like one, like about a medium size. I think this is about 15 pounds or so, but this is what I went with. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick this in the freezer and then I will pull it out several days before Thanksgiving just to defrost it. I picked up some sweet potatoes right here. It's a pretty large bag. This is six and a half pound bag right here. This is gonna be not only for our meal prep, but I might give several of these to my mom to make her famous sweet potato casserole. I bought some asparagus to make for some sides for Thanksgiving. I also picked up the vanilla extract. I found myself getting into my extra vanilla bottle, which means I don't have a backup. So this is the backup vanilla extract that I'm just gonna stick in my pantry. I did get some maple syrup because I do plan on making some maple Brussels sprouts as a side. I might shave those Brussels sprouts we'll see what happens but always needing that this is something I forgot to get last time and I needed to get it because it was on sale and I hate spending that much money on it but if it's on sale I'll do it this is actually for my daughter it is um, there's two packs two bottles in here of honest shampoo and body wash can't believe it already we've gone through so much of the milk I just picked up an extra milk for our outside fridge pumpkin I'm making all the pumpkin things I plan on making some pumpkin loaf some pumpkin muffins those two recipes are actually on my blog. I will link them down below, but I plan on um, giving a lot of that stuff away. And I also am gonna be making a pumpkin 
pecan pie and I did not get the chance to make it last year but it is one of my favorite pies to make. Of course there are several pies at Costco to choose from right now as well. I did pick up some Kahlua. We're running a little low. I always like to make sure I have this on hand. There is a drink. An, it's kind of like an after dinner nighttime coffee drink. Some of this some vodka and cream with a brown sugar syrup. So so yummy. So I wanted to get that in case anybody wanted an after dinner drink. I don't know if I just didn't see it this last time but if you are new to my channel I absolutely love getting collagen I love the vital proteins collagen peptides from Costco and right now they are on sale a great great price I love this stuff for my coffee honestly I've been seeing so much like thickness and growth in my hair over the past several months but while I was there too right next to it they had a marine collagen it comes like in a way smaller bottle the price is definitely more I want to research that a little bit before I bought it. Now it was on sale, maybe I should have bought one just to try it, but um, I would like to research it a little bit first before digging into that. But this is definitely the time to get it. I believe um, the sale ends 11.28. I did not get any bacon in my last haul, so I definitely need to pick this up. I'm probably gonna end up using some bacon for some of the Thanksgiving sides as well. Some cucumbers. Uh, yes, we have gone through all of the cucumbers already. I can't believe how much food we're going through so quickly. I don't know if my kids are just eating more, I'm eating more, not sure what's happening. I got Brussels sprouts in my last haul, but I did wanna get these. These are specifically for Thanksgiving. I did not see any brown sugar last time. Of course, I needed to get some for all of the baking goodies that I'm gonna be doing. My husband actually last night asked if we could start having like chicken bell peppers for lunch because I do like to meal prep our lunches. I'm gonna be doing um, like a sweet potato chicken with bell pepper medley, I guess you could call it, for our lunches. They had a bunch of rolls. They had the Hawaiian rolls, but they also had like dinner rolls, like the La Boulangerie, I don't know how you pronounce it, brand available. But these, I am gonna stick in the freezer right now to make these, um, these are gonna be for Thanksgiving. Some apples, we just ran out of all the apples. I was really tempted to get the Honeycrisp apples there that look so yummy, but they were like $14 a box for like 10 of them, so that was a no. I did get some more berries. We are running low on the berries, so got some blueberries for our lunches, and of course for yogurt parfaits. I always get baby carrots in every haul that I get, but for whatever reason, I just did not get it. So this is for our kids' lunches and for us just to snack on. I did get us a bunch of bananas because we have one banana left over there hanging on but I needed to restock on that and then the last thing right here is the ham they have a bunch of hams available all about in the, the same like poundage range this one is 9.84 pounds I'm actually gonna give this to my brother so he can smoke it for us because he makes a delicious smoked ham Okay guys, so that was it. That was just a really quick haul, a quick rundown of things that you could find in your local Costco for Thanksgiving. Hopefully you can utilize some of those products for your Thanksgiving dinner. What are you guys making for Thanksgiving? I'm very excited for Thanksgiving. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel on your way out. I would really appreciate the support. And we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.